In the last part we design our login and verification page. Now it's time to add functionality. Before that, add a loader in our verification page. For that I used this loader library. Copy its dependency and paste it in our app level Gradle file. Also add the Firebase authentication dependency in our project. It will use when we add functionality for PhoneAuth. Now add the loader in our verification page. Set its visibility to gone. Because we will set its visibility in the Java code. You can choose loader type from here. In the previous part we simply pass the intent to the verification activity. But now we will first check whether the edit text is empty or not. If empty we will pass a toast message that user must enter a number. Second we will check whether the number is 10 digits or not. If the number is not equal to 10 digits then again we will pass a error toast message to the user. If everything is okay, then we will send the user to the verification page with the phone number and country code picker.
Now in the verification Java file, initialize the MK loader and Firebase auth. Also take a string variable to get the number from the login page. Now in the submit button, add a onclick listener. When user click the submit button, first it check whether the OTP is empty or not. If empty it will show an error message. Next it will check whether the OTP length is 6 digits or not. If not then also it will show an error message. If everything goes well, we will display our loader and create a method to sign in our user with phone credentials. Now go to the Firebase phone authentication official documentation and copy these code and paste it under sign in with phone credentials. Once the sign-in is successful, we will set the visibility of the loader to gone and send the user to the main activity. If not we simply show an error message. So sign in with phone credentials is done. It's time to send verification code to the user after verify the user. For that create a method for send verification. Now again go to the Firebase official documentation and copy these code and paste it under send verification code method.
Define the callback method as global. Now in the on verification failed simply show a error toast message. And in on verification complete, call the sign in with phone credential method. Now add a click listener on the resend button. Logic behind the resend button is, when user is not able to verify the number within 60 seconds, after that resend text will show. And then user will again able to verify their number. Set the countdown timer in the resend text. Sorry I forgot to create the hook for the Firebase auth. And also forgot to get the phone number in the string variable. Please make sure add the country code picker with the phone number in the login page. As I forgot to add it earlier. Before going to run the app, add the internet permission in our app. And go to Firebase project and enable the phone sign in method.
for that go to the splash activity and make these changes. Now run the app. As you see after splash screen it redirect us to main screen.